Hello everyone, my name is Raj. I am a Technical Marketing Manager at Palo Alto Networks. In this video, we are going to look at how to deploy VM series and get your load balancer using cloud formation templates. For an overview and benefits of this joint solution, do check out my first video linked in the description below. This is the high level architecture that will get launched after you know we use the templates. Now, before using any of the templates, make sure that you have the transit gateway up and running. All these templates are available on the GitHub link provided over here. And what really happens is that as part of the template, we have two templates, one for security VPC and the second one for application VPCs. Once you deploy the security VPC, we'll go ahead and create corresponding components like gateway load balancer, along with the endpoint, of course, VM series in an auto scale fashion, and then other required components like NAT gateway, IGW. This is the more detailed diagram with specific route that's cloud formation template will populate. I have a Panorama 10.2 configured with device group uh, ready to receive new firewalls as they come up. Currently, as you can see that it's empty, but once I'm done with running the templates after successful installation, those firewalls which show up here under this particular device group. This is the S3 bucket that I'm using for my demo. And within this S3 bucket, I have already added all the required folders for VMC bootstrapping purpose. Along with that, I have also added the Lambda code. I mean, you can always use separate S3 bucket for Lambda code uh, for this demo. I'm using a single S3 bucket. Now let's quickly look at how the init.config file looks like. This is how the init.config file looks like, where I have specified all the details in terms of the auth key, template stack, and the device group, and so on. This is the GitHub link from where we can download the templates. I have already downloaded it for our demo. So let's go ahead and upload the security template and just deploy it. There are certain parameters that we'll have to provide as part of the deployment. So I have already populated the details like stack name along with AMI ID for the firewall, uh, max and mean instances as part of the auto scale group, along with what S3 bucket that we should be using for bootstrapping as well as for Lambda code. Uh, and then of course the API keys Last but not least, this is where we need to specify the transit gateway ID that we have created in the previous step. So once you are done with all this information, let's go ahead and run this tag. It's gonna probably take four to five minutes for this tag to you know, completely up and running. So I'll just go ahead and say create stack. And as you can see that the create in progress operation has started. So we'll check the status after five minutes. Okay, so the stack is now create complete operation has been done. So it's up and running. And if you look at the resources, you can see that as part of the security stack, we were able to create VMC's firewalls along with gateway load balancer, corresponding routes, IGW and then NAT gateway along with the security VPC and so on. Now we can quickly verify if the firewalls are up and running for that. Let's come back to the EC2 console. And here, as I'm filtering on the TME stack, as it, I can see that the two firewalls that we specified as part of the stack are up and running. That was the overview of VM series integration with AWS Gateway Load Balancer. I hope you liked the demo and thank you so much for watching.